YouTube, it's Jennifer. So I went and did another little haul for you guys at the Goodwill Outlet and I got quite a lot of stuff. Um, we actually spent $53, so it's 89 cents per pound and I will show you exactly what I got. So I'll just kind of work. I tried to organize it, but there's too much stuff to organize. So I'll just pull one at a time. So we got this coat. And it's Oshkosh, size four. I think it needs to just put it through the washer and be good to go for my son this year. Nice winter coat. And then I got this little southwestern poncho sweater for one of my boys. My son Jordan tried it on and it actually fit him really well. He said it felt funny, so maybe it'll have to be chinos. Whatever, they can share it. And I got this crossbody purse. It's full leather. Not sure of what the brand is. It just says let them eat cake. I don't know what that is. Little pink cupcakes on the inside. It's like perfect length. And this is a mini laptop holder, or you can put an iPod in it, I suppose. So it's from Bits Comedo. It looks like the Goodwill had it for $10 before it went to the outlet, so I just like it. I'm gonna try putting my iPad in it. Perfect size, because I have an older iPad. We have a black fossil purse. A nice leather purse sturdy, clean. They have a H&M leather, kind of like a camel. There's like, it's like a little mark on here that looks like it'll come off probably with some little soap and wash rag. Then I got one of these things. I don't know what they're called, but I think they're cool. My husband found a Jessica Simpson purse. I'm not that big a fan anymore of the ginormous purses, so I'll probably put this on my Poshmark closet. Got my three-year-old some shoes for next summer, some Under Armour slides. Got a pumpkin to use for Pinterest. I saw on Pinterest where you put some concrete in there and like a railroad spike, and then you cut it around it after the concrete dries and you have a cement pumpkin. So I'm gonna try that little Pinterest craft there. I got this, it's a music holder for an instrument, but I think I'm going to paint it and maybe bend it somehow and use it as a picture holder instead, like for Polaroids. I got an old-fashioned wool hat. Um, I also got a wool coat, but I'll get that out. It says Preston and York Premier, 100% wool. I got it because my son's name is Preston, so I thought it maybe it was a sign that I needed to have it. Got some fancy cutting scissors. I don't know if you've ever seen those, but. scissors. Then I've got a sack root, so it's the sack little zip wallet with birds on it. Santa felt craft kit comes with three little Santas that you can make never been open so I'm gonna have my boys do it my husband found a snake that we're gonna put in the garden to scare off the bunnies kind of it's really heavy and it feels kind of cool got a little camouflage hat 
for my son, again, the little one. He went with us, so he kind of grabs whatever. Like this, for instance, he grabbed this and it wasn't gonna, I had no interest in buying it, but. So, garage sale it will go. I got this for the boys. My son said it's a football Lego carrier. All right, so it opens up, keeps score. And my husband found me this for my little miniature iPod for when I go running. I don't know how often I'm going to use it because I still use the running 5, couch 5K app, so I don't know. It's got a Barbie purse to use as like a little decoration. My husband got a Koozie says, name your poison, St. Lucia. He likes pirates, so. Just a little scrap purse chain. It's got two clips on it. Figured I could do something with it and put it in my craft section. Another car for my son. got a Little Tykes spare phone. I actually watched a video on here and someone had said that if you find these, they sell really well on eBay for about 25 bucks. So I figured it doesn't, it didn't even weigh a pound. I might as well, it's not gonna hurt just to list it. And it's cute too, it's teal. I got this to hold one of my little pumpkin decorations. Just a little stand. Large vintage Judy Burke purse. Heavy duty leather. Love it. I'm probably gonna switch to this tomorrow. I just love their purses. They're so sturdy. We got a cutie doll. I'm gonna look him up on eBay. See about listing him. I'm really trying to get my Vitamix blender. So if there's anything that I can turn into an extra book. Some kind of holder thing, like a towel holder or row holder for your bathroom. I'm gonna probably, I'm gonna put it up somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where yet. I don't know if I'm gonna leave it this or if I'm gonna spray paint it copper. I'll have to see. I'll let you guys know. And I got this thing. I think my mom said it's some type of tapestry holder. I'm gonna spray paint it copper and then I'm going to put some copper tubes down somehow, I think maybe with some twine. And then I'm gonna put the little tiny clothespins on it and that's how I'm gonna display my Polaroids. So I have a mini Polaroid camera, so I think that'll turn out really cute. Got a little canister with clear lid stainless steel got it for my husband to put coffee in for when we go camping put it in the camper so he doesn't have to have that big giant coffee pot going around i got this cute little thing i'm not sure what it's for i thought about maybe just putting like perfumes in it it's almost has like a floral decorative texture in the metal i'm not sure This, I think, is silver plated. Um, I can't read. It says 138 Rogers Company something plate. I'm not sure. And my mom has silver cleaner, so I'll try that. This as well. I'm pretty sure this has to be silver plate because the inside is not tarnished, but the outside is. I thought that was pretty cool. Even the tarnishing on it's really pretty. It's almost like a galaxy effect. It's really, it's really neat. I like that. I got this. I have 
have a new mixer that's coming. My very first KitchenAid mixer is coming and I've been watching things on making pizza. So I thought this would be perfect to do like a deep dish pizza, making my own crust for the first time. So excited for that. I found a little purse. It has a little diamond on it. It's in leopard print and a little satin. And it has two different, you can choose if you want to have a metal chain for a strap or you can have a nylon strap. I got this to use for when I, my best friend is getting married and she's going to have a little reception afterwards. So I wanted to have a cute little purse to take with me. And this is something else I'm excited for. Um, is the mixing bowl itself, but I got a slotted spoon, you always need a slotted spoon. I got a decorative like serving spoon. I always thought that would be kind of neat with like mashed potatoes or something at Thanksgiving time. And this, it looks like a wooden spoon, but it's plastic, so I thought that was really cool. And then a pair of tongs. Um, we have a few of these, but I think they're all in our camper. I don't know. But this is a Williams Sonoma mixing bowl. It's got a little pour edge, kind of like the handle part. I love it. It's light pink. We've got some hair accessories. We've got some brand new little salon clips. And I'll use those. We've got a pearl headband. A blue satin flower headband with little rhinestones. We got an iridescent headband with pearls, kind of like a lace. Got a beaded, almost looks like a wing headband. brown bow that just clips into your hair and I got a little bride's veil I was gonna thinking about putting it like to a card or something for my friend that's getting married it's cute it's a little dainty little bow veil got a neon yellow belt to use for crafts I don't know, it's in excellent condition. I might just sell it. I'd rather have a blender. I got a selfie stick just for the part that holds the camera because my tripod is screwed a little shorter on it. So, got that. Preston grabbed some sunglasses, so I'm sure one of the boys is gonna have them too big for his head, but he grabbed a ball too, and this was in one of the purses that I got, so this is probably just going to go in the trash, it's a pony, like a glass pony. I got this little picture frame, do you guys have the little miniature Polaroid cameras, these tiny little picture frames, I think they're two by three inches, they fit these perfect, so if you get like little vintage picture frames, snag them up, because you can spray paint them and yeah, fit perfect. I got a Transformers keychain, a little coin pouch that you can put stuff in there. It's pretty cool and it's lightweight too, so it's not gonna hurt your ignition. And my husband found this. We have a garden flag that I like to put flags out during the season. It's just a little bear with a little bath. Basket of apple, it says America on it, flag in the background, doing the salute. That'll be good for 4th of July. And let's see here. We'll set this stuff down on the ground. So I got this cup. I thought was really cool is travel mug and I don't know what brand it is it almost kind of reminds me of the shape of like the Starbucks ones 
But usually they say Starbucks on it and this doesn't say it. I don't think it's ever been used either. It still has like the stickers, like the BPA free and things. It's got a little gold bow with a little bluebird with earmuffs. On. This looks like a vintage executive golf cutting set. It comes with a collapsible putter, a hole, and some golf balls. I didn't open this. I should probably, I'll open it now. We'll do like a miniature unboxing of all of this. Oh, it's a nice leather case. Open. Wow, this is nice. Um, I think I'll give this to my dad for Christmas. It's brand new. So, nice on that one. Play with it in his house. Maybe. I don't know, I might sell it. Cause I guess we've gotten him a few kind of cutting that's really nice we also got a baby bullet like a neutral bullet but it's the baby bullet brand new in the box I looked them up they're $59.99 at Walmart and yeah I'm definitely thinking about selling that I'm not sure though but that's downstairs so then I got an Easter tree with ornaments and I did take this out of the box and it's all in here. It's just kind of, I'll show you. The little tree in the basket, the little pink basket. And it's got everything, all the ornaments are still in the packaging. It's a brand new little Easter tree. Got some purses. We got a coach purse. Little thing. It does have some discoloration here and then a little bit right here and some on the back like looks like from some blue jeans. I'm going to try to clean it up but even if it doesn't come all the way clean I'm going to keep this because I feel horrible. I, I just don't understand how people can pay so much money for something and just treat it so horrible. Um, I felt bad for that little guy. I got a yellow purse. I'm pretty sure this is not, this isn't leather, it's plastic, but it's nice and it's the perfect length of a crossbody for me. I don't like it when they're up too high. I like it. I don't know if you can see that, but I like it when it's like mid hip. A little button. It's a hard rock cafe. No drugs or nuclear weapons allowed inside. I don't know if that's a joke or if it's serious, but I got this for my husband. I thought maybe it was something that he could use for his tools or something, but he doesn't want it, so it's probably gonna go back to the goodwill. We got a peanut butter. Peanut butter. You got a peanut butter. We got a Peter Pan toothbrush for Preston. You need to boil it. But other than that, it looks brand new. So there's no way in hell I'd give it something like this. We got him some Pirates booty. It's just a little pouch with some fake gold chips on it. We got my sister's dog. A little sweater. It says rough and tough. Little hoodie. Super cute. Got another crossbody purse. For the perfect length. Love these colors. And another crossbody. With studs on it. No, they're not really the, I don't know what they'll call it. Grommets? No. 
around this. I'm not sure exactly what it's called. This is not leather. This is leather. Got another coach purse. The inside is like horrible. Like the fabric on the inside or whatever. It's just ripped out. Almost like somebody was trying to rip it out. I don't know if they were going to like steal it or what. But I feel like this is leather. Just from all the wheels. Oh, it's a dime. Hm. And 10 cents back on here. Paper clips in there. Maybe it's the kid's stuff. I don't know, even as a kid, I never treated my bags as horrible. It just makes me sad. Purple Kathy Van Zeeland. This one's in excellent condition. Just missing the key charm. That was always my favorite thing when I got them, anyways. So I imagine whoever donated it probably actually used the keys. Got another fossil bag. We've got mixed suede and things. Another coach purse. This one has a longer, it looks like you can use it as a longer shoulder bag, possible crossbody, or you can shorten it, which is kind of nice. This is the Morona, so this is just from Target. But it's still really cute, and there's not even like an ink mark on it. So this is a pretty good find too. Then we got a blanket. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this blanket. I'm not gonna open it. It's so pretty. Love the colors. Then I got a women's sweater. The collection, in size medium. It's really cute. I'm gonna put this up on my Poshmark, I think. It's even got little elbow pads. Like brand new condition, so can't ask for more than that. I got this old pillowcase. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. They have a, um, a wall hanging. It's like, no joke, this size, like this color and fabric woven for 30 or $50 at Target, just to hang on your wall. So I was thinking maybe I could do something as far as like decorating in the guest room with this little Aztec print Western. I don't know. Okay. We got a pair of jeans. These are these are just Gap jeans, like skinny boots. My husband said they look more flare than anything. They're a pretty dark wash. You don't see too many darks like this without jewels on the butts or the you know pants ripped. Or and my husband got a pair of Levi's with button flies for himself, probably for work. Then I got just a nice, really, it's just so soft. 16 and a half. I've never seen a 16 and a half, but fits me perfectly. Just the blue denim button up shirt. Super soft. And I got a Kenneth Cole Reaction Wool Pea Coat. Looks like it's got a little bit of something white there. I don't think that was there when I got it, so I'm 
I'm sure it'll probably just scratch off. It needs to be lamp mold. But really nice. Nice coat. And it doesn't have to have the tie around the waist, which is nice. And I got this the Isaac Mizrahi. Just a just a like a garment cover. I got this because they have a white faux fur fossil jacket that I'm gonna put in it instead of it being in a plastic bag fossil. It'll look prettier in that I think. And then last but not least, the kitty's coming up. That's Hermes Dolce. My son's kitty. He's so bad. He does whatever he wants, but I suppose that's all cats. I got this vintage sweater with gold thread and pearls. It's really pretty. I love this. I think this would be so cute with like a white flowy shirt and then some jeans, maybe some flats or maybe some heels. If the jeans rolled up a little bit, I think it would be super cute. Then I got kind of like a tube dress but it's not a dress though like this is connected so it's more of like a jumper like a tubey jumper or you can wear it as pants too which I think is cool my husband said they're dorky looking I think they're cute and then last but not least a pair of comfy sweatpants they almost feel like they've never even been washed they're so soft on the inside. Excellent condition. Yep. So that was my haul for this week. I hope you enjoy. I hope that you have a good little outlet somewhere near you where you can go find some treasures for yourself. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Bye. That's it.